Howdy folks, Papa Joe here. Well, my last night home, doing a little cooking here. We uh, normally would have done this meal out on the grill, but with the uh, stuff that we've been doing this weekend, it just didn't work out that way. I'd already got the stuff. We wanted it, so I'm going to just do it in the oven which is going to be some simple tater wedges and right now I'm making sure that they don't have any good bad spots on them but I'm starting them first because of a timing thing that ain't the best knife I could have got for that let me see what else we might have for a better knife let me try this Oh, much better. All right. And, of course, the size of your tater wedges is totally up to you. Some people call these homemade fries. I don't care what you call them as long as you call me for dinner. Well, we're going to get these going just like this. Got the cookie sheet, as you can see. Oven's preheating to 350. I'm going to get these started. Then we're going to do some peppers and uh, asparagus and some meatballs. I'm not going to make individual films of each one or videos of each one. I'm going to just go ahead and do this whole meal here so that you get a idea of what we're doing and uh, you can see how I'm cutting these down to size. Uh, and we'll get back with you in a few minutes when we're doing some peppers and asparagus. Alright, didn't realize she had turned it on. Asparagus. Now we're going to uh, cut around there because this stuff's hard. So uh, we're going to cut off the hard stuff. Huh? The... Uh, thing about asparagus is I didn't like it for years and a couple years ago I was at my buddy Porkchop's house, Kenny and he had a guy over there that was a pretty good cook and uh, he had commented he was cooking asparagus and I was like no thank you and uh, he asked me, he says if you would just try what I'm doing and you'll probably change your mind so I like to give everything honest effort, give it a chance or two, and uh, I tried it and I fell in love with it. It was good. Now I've never cooked the asparagus quite this big before, so that's what the wife and I was talking about before we turned the video back on, and you can see the bacon I got, and I get the thick cut. But uh, we was discussing on uh, this being the larger pieces, just how much I should cut away. So this is a uneducated guess on how much we cut away. We do know we've read online that it says to cut that bottom part away. But that is your harder part. So that's what we have done. And... You will learn that I am a bacon fanatic. I like my bacon. I'll never... Well, I won't make that political comment. This might be a... Well, is that two pieces? If it's two pieces, it'll be about right. Good. I was afraid that was one piece. That's pretty good thickness. Now, you grab three or four. Now, stretch your bacon. See, I'm holding it down with my thumb. Stretch your bacon as you pull it and wrap it and let it wrap over itself again. Now you don't have to do that no more, but I'm still pulling it and stretching it, bringing it up around my asparagus. Then when I lay it down, that last piece is what I'm going to lay it down on. Alright, we're going to do all these up. Huh? You can talk. Joe can cut it out. Uh, we're going to do this up and uh, then we will 
put this in the oven. We've done got the potato wedges going. They're over there behind me if you want to shoot a shot of them. And uh, we'll get them going first because they take the longest to cook. Then we're going to get these ready. Then we'll get our peppers ready. So we'll see you in a few minutes. We'll Alright folks, I've started on my peppers already. I've cut several of them. Uh, I just cut mine lengthways. Just like so. Okay, I saved two of them just so I can show you. Don't hurt yourself. Now, uh, to me it shouldn't have had to been said. However, let me remind you all to always wash your vegetables. Even getting them out of the store. Always wash your veggies. Now you can see I kept that bag back there that my asparagus has been in. Now, a couple things about these peppers. One, the seeds in there is what makes them hot. So you want to get all the seed out of there, and I'll even rinse these again before I fill them. There's a membrane down in there. See that seed trying to stick in there? That'll light somebody up. Well, there's a membrane down in these peppers as well. And of course, you hear our bird in the background. She's been quiet until we started videoing. See that membrane? You want to get that membrane out of there. That membrane is what gives it the bitter taste. So your seeds are hot. Your membrane makes it bitter. And I try to get as much of this white right here off as possible without this connecting my stem. And there'll be a seed or two on the outside. Like I said, I will rinse those. Well, there's the asparagus ready to go. Taters are in the oven. As soon as I get these cleaned and ready and washed, I'll bring you back on and show you next up. Alright folks, as you can see, I'm putting a cream cheese in them. This is Philadelphia cream cheese. I'm just stuffing it in there, making sure you get it down in there real good. Uh, now I'm sure you noticed I have a, another video up of poppers. That was my buddy Kenny did them out on the road on one of our barbecues when we hooked up. And uh, now he's one of them that marries the halves back together. I don't do that. I, uh, I just cook, do mine in little halves here. Little boats, whatever you want to call them. And uh, wrap them in cheese. But now you can't uh, wrap them in bacon. You can uh, keep them together as you cut them in half. Then do them like this and wrap them. I'm going to wrap them just like that. I'm going to wash my hands right quick. Oh, where'd our towel go? Right here. Alright. Now, same thing as when we was doing our asparagus. Make sure that's one. I'm going to hold it a little bit tight there and I stretch my bacon. It ain't wanting to stay put there. And this ain't necessarily as easy as it looks on here. It can be a, a little bit of a pain. Luckily, it's some big old long bacon pieces here. So, as you see, cut them in half. I washed them out, they, so they've been washed twice. Got washed once to get the fertilizer, pesticides, whatever they put on them out in the field. None of this stuff is really washed in the store, whether you know it or not. So they got washed the first time like that. Then after I cleaned the seeds out, membranes out i washed them again to make sure i had all the seeds and membrane out that's a lot of bacon all right i'm going to do the rest of them like that and get them on the sheet we'll get back with you when we're doing meatballs all right folks i'm getting ready to stir my meatballs there's my asparagus and my peppers uh doing the same thing on the meatballs basically i did last night there's my hamburger meat. I'm using my 
Weber gourmet burger seasoning. A couple of things I want to tell you about the peppers, just in case. Uh, when you're handling them things and cutting them up and prepping them, make sure that you don't go rubbing your eyes and scratching your head and all that good stuff because uh, the juices will still burn the dickens out of you. A lot of people will actually wear gloves, rubber gloves while they're doing it. So that, that might be a consideration for you. And the closer the pepper is to the stem, the hotter it is. So with that, I'm fixing to mix up some hamburger, cut up some cheese first, get ready to make the meatballs for you. Talk to you in a minute. All right, grabbing a little bit of meat there, putting my cheese in the middle. We uh, use the same seasoning as before. Want we'll to make sure you pack these. If you see where it's coming apart, that's not good. You want to work that meat a little bit. Make a real good salad ball. Roll it around like so. All right, come out with a fairly decent ball. Now we are also going to, I'm going to just show you on this one, and we're going to do them all up. Take my bacon, I like bacon, and I'm going to wrap it in bacon. Do like so, and go right in that pan. Alright, one of the issues that we've had in the past is I cut my cheese too big. It acts like it's still recording, but it's it on. Is. It's on pause. No, hit the pause. All right, folks, there they are. You see the asparagus and jalapenos in there. There's the taters. Taters are doing real good. And like I said, this is the meal I normally cook outside on the grill. Uh, just didn't work out that way this time, but we cooked it in the oven before. I like the smoke taste, but it is what it is. We'll show you finished product in a little while. All right, folks, here we go. There's my hamburger balls, bacon wrapped, pepper jack cheese filled. The uh, easiest way to tell that they're done is that the bacon's done and you'll see cheese coming out of them. And that's what you see. Now I need to get them out of the grease. Here's the asparagus and the poppers. A lot of grease in that pan. I need to get them out of the grease. There's our taters. So that's our meal for tonight. Tater wedges. Poppers. Asparagus. Meatballs. Alright. Well, I hope you all will give this a try. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel so that you'll know when I'm putting up new stuff. And please share with your friends. God bless. Y'all have a good night. I think I'm going to go sit down, watch TV, and enjoy this meal right here. Bye.